Hello, in five slides, I'm going to explain where you can find Spinnaker sailing instructions, what they're based on, some of the content, a summary of changes of 2023, and where you can find out more. Spinnaker follows the worldwide racing rules of sailing. Our club instructions are based on that and have some additions, clarifications, adjustments, uh, together with some useful information on the flags, the map of the lake, etc. They're available on the club website and under the racing tab, just follow the links. Certain events, mostly the open events like the topper hoppies, solo, etc., have their own sailing instructions and notice of race. It's helpful if we all know the main content in our sailing instructions and the racing rules as it's largely a self-policing activity and it's better for all if we know the rules. Together with the racing rules of sailing, our sailing instructions can help make racing uh, safe, enjoyable and consistent through this season. Here's just a list of uh, some of the contents, including some safety content, uh, how we run the races, the start line, the finish line, how the scoring happens, time limits, uh, risk statement insurance. So the best thing to do is take a look at the small sections of this inside the sailing instructions. This slide has got a few examples of how the sailing instructions work with the racing rules of sailing. At Spinnaker, for our club events, we have a 3-2-1 go. In the racing rules, it's a five minute, four minute, one minute go. Our sailing instructions explain how pursuit racing works. That's not covered in the standard racing rules. We have a so-called back sweep, which allows uh, later finishers to, to, to finish in a timely manner. We have the detail of our start and finish lines. Also, lifting rudders are permitted. Um, not all classes permit that. Here's five changes in the 2023 sailing instructions. The first thing is it's a thinner document. We've reduced some of the summaries. We've tried to shorten when we say things. And we've taken out the two page section on how corrected timing and all the Portsmouth numbers work. That is now. RYA standard and it's very good to go and look at the RYA website if you want to know more. The second one is we are returning to the racing rules standard penalties for part two infringements. These are things like the port starboard infringement. In previous years we've had a single turn penalty, we return to a two turns penalty for that. As I just said we're using standard RYA numbers for um, the craft we sail, solos, toppers, optimists, some vintage craft uh, we will make exceptions for. Please discuss those with Les, Chair of the Sailing Committee. Pursuit race changes. Um, we've got a separate video on how the personal gradings work in the personal pursuit races. In previous years, we had a one minute penalty for later races if you came first or second. We don't now have that one minute penalty. On insurance, we have had two million. We need to follow the club bylaws, which themselves uh, follow the RYA recommendation. That requires three million pounds uh, insurance. So finding out more, the Spinnaker sailing instructions are available on the club website. Go to the racing tab and then uh, follow down the list and you'll see them there. The two documents shown in the little image are very good. They're the RYA publications. Uh, one is the uh, full racing rules of sailing with a spiral bound uh, waterproof document. And then the other one is a very thin guide, which is uh, pretty helpful too. And of course, please ask the, the class captains be delighted to help uh, any member of the sailing committee. Thank you very much.